Hi Queens, welcome back to a new episode of What Should I Wear? We are doing all of the Christmas holiday festive occasions. This video is in partnership with Urban Revival. I have some new goodies that are perfect for almost every occasion I chose. So everything will be linked below from Urban Revival as well. I'm pretty sure I have a code, so I will put it here if I do. Without any more rambling, let's get into it. First look we're getting into is the travel outfit, the winter travel outfit. I always talk about trousers. They are my secret weapon. They feel like sweatpants, but Obviously you look a little tailored, a little more put together. I'm doing black because I always do black because I'm clumsy and I spill things. But this this um, rib tank top is Massimo Duty. I just suggest something that's like comfortable. I like to wear something sleeveless unless I'm going somewhere really, really cold because we're gonna wear a coat and I don't like to get too hot. I like to keep my coat on and not get too hot. But you can also do this with like a very thin t-shirt or turtleneck or whatever your comfortability is. Um, for shoes, I'm gonna do, I'm bringing out my old Princetown loafers. These are comfortable. I like that I can slide them on and off. I can walk quickly if I need to, but again, they look a little nicer than having a sneaker on, um, but again, still comfortable. I also have these. So you could of course do a sneaker for the look we're going for. This is just a bit much, but a sneaker could go well with the trousers also. I'm also gonna add a belt. I've been getting into silver hardware. I really like this belt. I think it's from Shopbop and it was pretty, pretty affordable. Let's put this on, oh, so pretty. It looks like a bracelet almost. So I love that. And then the topper of the airport fit, especially when it's cold, it's always gonna be the coat. The coat is what's gonna give us the look, provide the vibes. And <laughs> the coat we're gonna throw on. Now you may be thinking, this is kind of extra, but it's winter. It's winter, baby. We need to be warm, we need to be cozy. I mean. Stop. I feel like I'm gonna get on a private jet. This is from Urban Revival. <laughs> and this is stunning. I love the, I mean, it's like gray, but it's like a black and white mix. Please, please. We need sunglasses, of course. I, I wouldn't travel in makeup. I never travel in makeup. So we're always gonna wear sunglasses to again, elevate our look. And I have these kind of like cool gray toned, like black and gray. Aviators, I really like these because they're kind of slim, but they still have like the tinted lens and they give me that like extra feeling without doing too much. Let me take a look. Oh, this is something. This is something, wow. Um, this also has little clasps on it. So you could like do it up if you like are really cold and you want to like stay super warm. And of course we need a travel bag. And I'm gonna stick with the black, but I wanted something a little more sleek and polished. So I'm going with this patent leather. This is from Acne. Um, and I just like, it's, it's super big, fits a lot, but I like kind of the sleek finish, that patent leather look. Travel look, I feel warm, I feel cozy. I feel comfortable, most importantly. And I feel fabulous. So I am wearing, I'm pretty sure, a US six in most of the Urban Revival pieces. I always recommend sizing up just to be safe. Uh, I'm typically a size four right now, but size sixes fit me pretty good. You'll see that throughout the other outfits. Right. Next look is game night slash friends holiday party. So I take into account, like you're gonna be at someone's house. You wanna be somewhat comfortable, but you still wanna be really cute. You're probably gonna be taking, you know, selfies and pictures and things like that. But then you'll probably be sitting down, playing games, eating. So this is the look. I kept on this tank top, but I also have this, I talked about a thin turtleneck, um, and I highly recommend this one. It's from a brand called Commando. It's super stretchy, it's very comfortable. It's a bodysuit, um, so I'll link this below as well. These are interchangeable, but if you're going to a party where you're gonna get festive and maybe have a cocktail, I get hot quickly. So I like to keep on like a tank top or just something without sleeves, because we're gonna add a jacket. But before we do that, so this is a long asymmetrical skirt. It's not super cold where I live yet. It's like 65 most days, so this is appropriate. But you could do this with like some sheer tights if you needed to, or you could just do a full maxi skirt. We're just taking the idea. So the, the, the best part of this outfit, actually there's two best parts. <laughs> we're gonna add these boots. Um, again, we want something that's like a little extra because we're gonna see all our friends and be taking pictures, but also we need to be comfortable. I don't think it's necessary to wear heels or anything like that. So I have this denim fold over cowboy boot from Urban Revival. <laughs> and this is what started the whole video, honestly. 
I wanted to show these boots and here we are. Um, these are stunning. They are so comfortable. And I like the idea of the like denim on denim. I, I like that. I mean, I'm, I'm into a Canadian tuxedo. They're so comfortable. They do give you height, but they have so much cushion in them. I think this looks so freaking cute. Like this is like coming into the party. We're not even done yet. The jacket. Let me show you the jacket. We love a leather jacket. I like lightweight jackets when I know I'm gonna be inside. So this is something you can take on or off, but it's definitely a part of the outfit. This is also from Urban Revival. And let me just, let me just stop, stop. Obsessed, obsessed. You could push the sleeves up. Like if you wanna keep the jacket, like in my mind, this is like you're wearing this as a shirt kind of vibe. Then you could do that in the party. Uh, uh. Obviously we don't need sunglasses. This will probably be like at night, but this is the look. This is like so fun. Mm -mm. Like the boots, are you dying? Are you dying? Okay. Okay, next look is gonna be winter date night, first date. There was like a couple of date ones, so. I'm throwing on a dress, um, it's cold, right? So we're doing long sleeve, this is super comfortable. And I feel like this can kind of take you anywhere, this outfit, like you could go to dinner, but you could also do something a little more casual or a little more dressy. Um, and I love the print, this is very much on theme, but this is so comfortable. I did get a size six in this, I feel like it fits really great. I love the color combo. You could do heels, but I'm gonna do it with boots, just like some black pointy boots. Could also do, if you have like a cranberry, that would be beautiful. I do not. Out of all the boots I have, that's, it's never enough, you know? It's never enough, but I think pointy toe for sure, cause that keeps it kind of dressy feeling. And then I'm gonna throw on a jacket. Um, but this dress, oh, if I didn't say, this dress is from Urban Revival, so it's an amazing price point. But the quality is top tier, it's double lined has like this mesh inside, so it's super, oh my God, that looks so good. That look so good, obsessed. I'm gonna throw on a leather jacket. I think something cropped with long is really nice and also makes it like not too dressy feeling, if you know what I'm saying. So I'm gonna do one of my favorite leather jackets. I'm sure you already knew I was gonna grab this. Just to give it like a little cool factor, but again, any leather, I feel like any cropped leather jacket will kind of do the trick with something long and just make it a little cooler and not so dressy. I was thinking about this could be pretty cute, but ideally I would just do a black bag. Let's see. I just feel like I never wear this, but. Oh, that's kind of cute. Hmm. Which one? Which one? Black honey? or pink. The pink's kind of nice. I think, look at that. I think the pink and the burgundy look really pretty together. It's like very soft. Okay, so this is our winter date night. You could throw a scarf on, again, depending on how cold it is, if you need something thicker. But for me, from like the car to a restaurant, this is like warm. You could do tights, of course, underneath with the boots, just to give a little added warmth. This is super cute. Let me come close so you can see. I love the detail in this dress. Like this is really, really pretty and really comfy. Okay, next outfit is Christmas shopping slash lunch. So just one of those like days where you're out all day, you're running all the errands, but you also are gonna go to lunch. You just wanna look cute. Sometimes you go to the mall, but you still wanna look cute, not just like you're running errands. This is that look. So I also want to show you something with tights because you need to wear your skirts in the fall and the winter. Like don't just let them collect dust in the back of your closet. So I'm doing a leather skirt and then these really, I'll link these tights. I found them at CVS and I love them. They have like a little sheen. They're also like not too opaque. So you still kind of see the leg through them. I just feel like that looks better. It looks less like a kid wearing tights vibe. Um, denim shirt, I love the cut of this shirt. This shirt is from Urban Revival. This is a size six again, fits like a glove just kind of like stays open. Absolutely love this. So for shoes, you could go either way. 
Um, I was thinking if you want something a little more casual, you could do a combat boot if you just want like ultimate comfort and you know most of the day you'll be like going maybe to a million stores. You can do a combat boot. I'm gonna do a little thigh high boot, but these are comfortable. I've worn these, where are they? <laughs> I've worn these shopping before. I actually wore them when I went shopping in Copenhagen. It's just a smaller heel, it's a square toe. They're pretty comfortable, but they're just gonna give me a little bit. Like I just want a little, little more oomph to my look. But to me, these are like daytime heels. These are, give us a little, and I also love the texture it brings to the outfit. Like the, the combat boot would continue with like the matte black of the skirt, but I wanted a little gloss. I feel like that just gives me what I need. I love this. <sighs> yes. But it's like easy, right? I'm not like teetering around in heels. Like this is very easy, comfortable, fabulous. What I was saying, when I'm gonna be out all day for an extended period of time, I will typically wear my indoor outdoor sunglasses so that I just guarantee I look good all day. <laughs> so I'm gonna do, and I also wanted to bring in some of the brown that's in the stitching. So I'm gonna do my oldie but goodies. These are super old Tom Ford. I'll link some similar ones below. That way I don't have to worry if my makeup just starts to look crusty after a few hours. The sunglasses help. And then because we're gonna be shopping, we wanna be hands-free. I'm gonna do a crossbody bag. I don't need much. I mainly just need my wallet, but I'm probably gonna have bags. So you could do this on the arm, but eventually I would probably, this is like one of the few times I actually will wear a crossbody bag. I could also do this pouch, I was thinking. It just depends on how intense the shopping gets. Cause I hate how, I feel like crossbodies can just ruin the outfit. Uh, I think it looks nice though. I think it's okay. So we're gonna stick, this is our shopping, Christmas shopping, lunch, brunch. We wanna look fabulous while we're out and about outfit. The scarf I didn't say is a Goldie um, and I love it. All right, the next look is gonna be the office holiday party. I am dying over this dress. So I'm showing this because one, it's perfect for an office holiday party and it's just the chicest thing ever. However, I would get mine tailored. Well, mine needs to be tailored. I will be getting it tailored. I have it pinned in the back um, because it's just a little big. However, I don't think I could size down. So I would just say go with, like this is a six. So still size up. If you have a really small chest, then maybe get your normal size. But if you have a larger chest, I would definitely size up because I couldn't go down a size here. So I'm gonna just have my tailor put darts in the back because I just have literally like two clamps in the back. And this is really good for if you are tall. I think this is the perfect length. I mean, this might be perfect for our office holiday party also, the length, but I'm gonna get mine shortened. Just, just this last button, just like, come walk with me, walk with me, envision it. Like with tights, I feel like that is still an appropriate length. You feel me? Do you, you see what I'm saying? but I'm five, three and a half. So keep that in mind. So if you're literally like five, 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 six or taller, this is probably the perfect length. But they, do, you know, I always talk about the tweed jacket. So I wanted to try a tweed dress. This is stunning. The buttons are stunning. Um, I did tights again, cause this is winter. Um, I feel like this feels super dressy, but also very appropriate for work. And then for heels, I wanted to bring a little more texture. I'm still sticking with black, but again, the pattern of this shoe, these are from Kendall Miles. We talked about these, we had her on the show. Um, so comfortable. So again, they give you like that va va boom. This is so cute, but it'd be, it'd be cuter if it was just like a little shorter. Listen, I have short legs. I would try to make them look longer. So picture this, picture this. Ah, ah, I brought a cake. And then I thought this bag would be perfect. Oh, oh. I'm obsessed. And this length is probably very appropriate. I'm sure you're like yelling at the screen, like you don't need it shorter. Stunning, stunning. They did, they, they really did that on this one. Okay, okay. This look is a combination. Um, this is holiday sightseeing. I'm not sure what that is, but someone to ask for it. I'm assuming that's just like a cozy outfit to maybe go look at lights or go find a tree, something like that. But also I was thinking this outfit would be good if you're like me to go to the movies on Christmas because that's what I like to do. And the color purple comes out this year, so I'll definitely be there. So this is something just like cozy, but still cute. Leggings, because obviously, this is the turtleneck I was talking about from Commando. It has the thumb holes. It's just super warm, but it's not too like choky feeling or like too restrictive. It's very comfortable. I have like so many, so I'll make sure I link this below. 
And then I'm gonna throw on, it's the boots and the coat are what's making it. So I'm gonna do these boots cause I just wanna add a little flair, but also nothing too dressy, but something that gives me a little height. This is kind of a good in between. You could also just do like a combat boot. That's my favorite. You can also do a riding boot. I feel like all of these are kind of interchangeable. Cause I want a super cozy jacket. I'm gonna do my little velvet coat. I like where this cuts on me. I like how it looks with leggings because it covers my butt, but also like I can just sit in the movie theater like this and just feel like I'm in a blanket. And that's what I was going for. It also looks cute, buttoned up. I mean, it also looks fabulous from the back, but the, the point is like something that doesn't, you can do something super long, but I feel like this length is really good with the boots and with the leggings. So you still get a little bit of shape. And then I'm thinking this for bags so that we're not like all black. I think this might be cute. Let me look. I definitely need something. I need a big bag for the movies to take snacks. So I feel like this could be cute. I don't know. This might be throwing me off a bit. Let me see. See what else I can find. This is a better option. Also big enough to fit snacks. This is the look for holiday sightseeing. If you're going to see lights, if you're going to pick out a tree, or if you're like me and you're going to the movies. She's going, she's not trying too hard. She's effortless. That was the last outfit. Uh, let me know which one was your favorite, which one you're gonna think about trying. Of course, make sure you check out Urban Revival for the fabulous boots. I mean, I think every outfit had an Urban Revival piece in it. Uh, everything I showed in the video, if it's available, it will be linked below. I'm pretty sure I have a code for Urban Revival, so I will put it here. I will also put it in the description box so you can check there. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. Bye.